Hi, Internet. It's about time I made another video. Um, this time I will be reviewing my Vantage... Uh, yes, it says Vantage on the back of the tuners. I don't know if you can see it. My uh, Vantage base. Um, that I got from Guitar Center used about, I don't know, a couple months ago. Um... So, without further ado, let's just get into the review. Um, 24 frets. I like that. Um, I took off the truss rod cover because, you know, I don't like truss rod covers. Um, and two and two tuners. Um... Neck through construction, uh, very accessible actually up on the higher frets. Um, four controls, I'm still fiddling around with them because I've only had this bass for a couple months and to be honest I only really use one setting and that's like everything dimed except this one which is shot all the way off um yeah uh one nine volt battery back here maybe just power the preamp i don't know what it's for other than just to give it that nice active raw well generally i don't i prefer yeah. generally i don't play active bases that often because, you know, I find their sound to be very limiting. Um, it's really either just all bass or nothing at all. Um, but, um, unless you're, unless you're playing with distortion, like what I'm doing right now, um, then you're really kind of shooting yourself in the foot if you're playing an active bass and you just have everything dimed. So, uh, as I said, neck through, body, um, pretty sure you guys want to hear a sound sample. Um, have it strung with I th the I think 40 through 95 strings I usually play it in standard D but I brought it up to drop D um, I don't exactly know why but I just brought it up to drop D and these are a little bit tighter than I prefer but I usually play it in standard D so whole step down with extra light gauge strings <laughs> Um, just because it feels easier to bend strings that way I do a lot of bending um, I do a lot of bass shredding too but um, just feels more natural to me um, and uh, yeah that's I believe these are discontinued, like long discontinued. Um, I was I was lucky enough to find one of these at Guitar Center for like 150 bucks used, so I snagged it, and it's become pretty much my go-to bass nowadays. Um, I'm pretty sure that like the only real mod I would do would be bypass the battery or whatever battery power components there are. 
Um, I'd probably either bypass those or just, if I couldn't, I'd just rewire the entire thing. Um, but yeah, that's my base, it's my go-to base nowadays. Um, yeah, it's a nice instrument, feels well, uh, feels great, plays well, only problem is it's on the heavy side. But it's well balanced. Um, no, not much neck dive, if any at all. Um, yeah. Anyway, stay metal. Bye bye, suckers.